Hello and welcome to the Hixie Studio. Today I am going to be showing you how to create this little winter themed uh, canvas using the gorgeous Stamperia rice papers. It's beautiful blues. Um, it's got the snowflakes on, so it's a little bit Christmassy, but it doesn't need to be Christmas. It can just be a lovely winter theme. It's got these castles. But we're going to focus today using the um, the angel and the we all have magic in us and using some of the, the snowflakes uh, on our stencil. So the first thing before we get the, the bits off the stencil is to just to create our background. So we're going to use some gesso and we are going to use a very, very tiny bit of the Royal and Langlickle acrylics in dark ultramarine. And you really only do need a really, really, really tiny little bit. So I'm going to just squeeze a very little bit there. Oh. I'll probably begin. I need more now. Just a tiny little bit there. And then I'm going to get my brush, big brush, to make my brush a little bit damp. And then I'm going to put some gesso in here. And just take a little bit of the blue in. Okay, to start with. So I'm going to just begin with it that light. Really nice and pale. And I'm going across the canvas, trying to keep my brush strokes the same. I'm going to get a little bit more blue in and start to bring some more blue in at the top. And I'm, I'm going to be doing that. Oh, I wish I'd put some more blue in there. I think I will just get a little bit more blue. I was being super cautious. Um, and I'll probably now put up way too much. There we go. Better to do it in little bits, I think, than going. And I'm keeping, I'm not changing my brush, I'm keeping my brush that's still got a lot of the old in. So now what I'm looking for is it to be marginally darker at the top than it is towards the bottom and that's all we're going to do and I'm going to put that for the moment to one side so it can start to dry on its own and I'm going to um, take off some paint off my brush into there and then I'm going to rinse my brush over and we just do a little quick clean up so that we're not um spreading all this around so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spray. To be honest with the acrylics if I left it to dry it would just scrape off but if I want to move on um, very quickly I am going to whoa, wipe it off. Thank you Dokey. Just sit to one side for a moment. Okay so rice paper. I love Dampira's rice papers. There are some beautiful um, elements. Sometimes they're all one um, image, but quite often like these, there are lots of different things that you can use on different projects. So what we want is we want this area here, which we're going to use along the bottom. And we want the angel. Uh, and we want the... Um, some of the snowflakes, and we want this little um, thing here. So I've got some clean water. Um, when I'm doing the canvas, I prefer to have a, a fairly rough edge, so you can see the fibres. They tend it tends to blend in, but if you feel more comfortable cutting, then by all means do. But I I've got a very 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 fine brush that I'm just making wet, and I am literally drawing around the edge of where I want to rip. So if I start, you can see that it starts to rip along that edge. Now, um, 
if you're used to rice papers then you know that you can if you can see here you can get some of these big what we call slubs in them um, sometimes if you hit one of those it will not tear the way you want it so just keep an eye out uh, and you can always snip those um, so that you don't sort of rip the image that you're trying to, to cut out so we're going to use these um, this bit that I'm doing now is going to form this the border at the bottom um, and because um, I didn't have any uh, stamps that I felt were sort of in keeping I'm using the snowflakes like I would a, a little stamp a little sort of background stamp to create a little bit more um, texture uh, on the canvas so there's there's our order okay and I've just managed to not rip the angel to be honest with you I was completely forgot about her I wasn't really concentrating so let's just make sure that we are focusing this time I'm gonna come here and around this way there are the, I think this this image here I'm thinking of putting on a something glass I think it would look nice on a little um candle holder would shine through with these beautiful colours. Like I say, that's why you, you get so much for your money with these um, papers, so many possibilities that you could use them for. So let's keep going. Okay. Now, I've got... Um, this these bits of rice paper and we're going to also use some of the um icy snow um paste for um a bit of texture to uh to add to the dimension the thing with with canvases it's all about building up your layers let's keep it very very carefully around our little oh, now there you can see i've got a little slub there and if i pull I'm going to Cause it to either rip through the wings or to rip through the sentiment. So I'm just going to give it a little snip there and then we can pull her off. And we're going to just come around here just so that we haven't got a, a straight edge. We really want a straight edge. So there's our angel. It's going to go on. Got our little, uh, little sentiment, if you like, here. And we'll take a few of the, the snowflakes too. And I'm just going to go along there. And I'm just going to literally just tease off some of that edge so that we haven't got a straight edge. Too straight an edge. Oh, have a little bit more texture. That's that piece. Not bothered about the edge on here because it's going to go off the end. And we just grab a few of these little snowflakes quickly off of here. You could use the little flowers if you like, like, like little um, like Christmas roses. I'm not 100% sure if I'm completely honest. So we're just going to take the easy ones from here. And we're going to use these like stamped images. So what if they're a little bit jagged? And I'll just take this one. There and this one from here, and then we'll we will leave it at that, and we will move on to our canvas. Okay, so, the snowflake. There we go. Put that one out of the way, and uh, we're going to grab our canvas back in, and it's it's almost dry. But I'm just going to give it uh, a little blast before we start putting too much on the top of it okay so um my first thing i'm going to put on is this border so i need some decoupage glue whatever type of decoupage glue you have um and i have a brush that i keep specifically um for 
decoupage glue. You might have those lovely sort of synthetic um, ones that haven't got bristles. And I don't know why I just put that in water. But not to worry. Not to worry too much. It will be fine. It will be fine. So, okay, so we are put some glue on the back and put that just slightly off so I can wrap it round. And I don't need all of this here, so I'm just going to pull some of that off. Um, oop. And we'll put that back on. Doesn't matter if it's not completely straight, although I am still faffing. And a bit more glue over the top to seal it down. And usually you would do it from the middle, but obviously with a long strip like that, it's not so easy to know where the middle is. So I'm just um, making it go around the back of the canvas just to give it a nice edge rather than a rough one. You take more time if you're doing that. Okay, rub the excess off. So we have our piece along the bottom. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a couple of the, in fact, I might actually put that up the side rather than um, wasting it. I'll just stick that up there, add a little bit more to it. So, um, there we go. There we go. Right, so I'm going to add some of the snowflakes as if they were stamped. So, again, with canvases, you build up the layers. So, um, that's kind of be going to be a, a sort of layer that falls to the back, and some of these um, little snowflakes will be too. So we're just going to put a bit of decoupage glue on those, and I'm going to look around at roughly where things were visible on the old previous canvas and put these in. And it's got this lovely sort of almost hessian background that you can see when you apply the glue. Very very sort of roughly there uh, i'm going to put one i think there simply put it that way up rather than the same way i just did uh that one will be visible and ooh, did i have another one a little one maybe up there like i say this is purely to build up our layers so that we've got some interest in each layer just there right okay now um i have here another layer um that i am going to use let me get a bit now if you look on the youtube uh channel you will if you find the video where i made this this lovely card um, you will find out what this is. This is the stencil that I used to make this, but I didn't throw it away because this is really useful because I can now cut into this to add uh, more texture onto my canvas. So I'm going to get my scissors and I am going to decide which one do I want. Hmm. We will go with, I think. I'm going to try and cut it so it's not like a square edge um where am i going to go with that i know what i do need to do i'm going to cut that across there i am just going to trim it with my guillotine to get rid of all the white um, and see what i've got it doesn't need to be completely uh white because again it's just adding a little bit of texture a little bit of um, variety onto my canvas so i'm not worrying too much about how i'm cutting this off it's a little bit closer in oh, oh come on that's because it's got some paste on it we'll go with that i think i'm gonna use that bit right so now 
I need to choose the bit that I want. Um, and I'm going to just try and bring that round so that's more rounded. And go down to there, maybe. If we come up there, round that. So it's entirely up to you. But it's always worth holding on to these bits because they really do. Um, I'm gonna, I am going to cut that bit off. Um, they really do come in useful. It did its job for me on the card, but now it's doing another job uh, for this lovely canvas. I'm, I'm just deciding how I'm going to do this one, deciding where I'm going to cut. I think I'm going to cut in there, trying not to make it look too edged. That makes sense. It's got a leaf there. And we're going to cut some in there and also there. And I'm going to cut around there. So I've now got my two, two bits from my corners to add more texture to my canvas and um, these ones I'm going to use, uh, put on using the acrylic glue rather than the decoupage glue. Um, it would work but it's a bit more messy so it's easier to control by putting the uh, cosmic shimmer, sorry yeah cosmic shimmer acrylic glue on. So that bit's going to go in that corner there and this bit's going to go on um, this top corner, yeah, just the blobs of glue and there we have it. Okay, right, so that's another layer on. Now, next bit I'm going to put on our, is our angel and our sentiment. Now, it's always a good idea. Um, if, you, if you've not put this onto anything else, to just when you're positioning it, to go back over with a bit of um, gesso to make sure the bit behind is quite white. Otherwise, you'll get the real colour of anything behind it coming through rather than seeing the beautiful colours of the rice paper. So I'm just trying to find the brush I use for my gesso, but not to worry, I'll find another one. We'll use this one. Okay, so. I am going to just get a bit of gesso on. I'm going to look at where I am going to put this. And I'm just going to put some gesso on there just so that behind it it's going to be nice and white. And then I'm going to do the same for behind our, our lovely little angel. So there. Just so that we're, she's going on to white in the hole, on the hole rather than onto blue. And if your little bits of white poke out from underneath, it's not too much of an issue. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little blast with my heat gun. I'll put that on quite thick. It's just, just a little quick blast with the heat gun on the gesso. Okay, and then we're going to use the, the decoupage glue on the back of our little angel. There. And position her right there. Move her down a little bit. No, she's right there. Okay. So she's going because she's rice paper, it's not a problem going over the, the texture here. It just uh wrong one. Uh it just sort of goes with the, the contours of whatever you are uh, applying it to. Okay. So there's our lovely angel on, and then we will add on our little sentiment here. We all have magic in us. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
you can see because the white's behind it that really pops out rather than disappearing back into the blue okay so we have one more layer to put on so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to oh tidy up a little bit so that i'm not getting myself in any more mess move these things out of the way and we are going to use oh it's alive it's alive icy white snow paste um from uh this is an old uh, imagination crafts one and we are going to use it's another stamp area product this lovely turn it around the right way you can see alphabet stencil but i'm not interested in the alphabet for this i'm interested in um these swirls now you can see that i was pretty naughty and didn't clean my stencil off properly it, it doesn't stop it from working whether you um you like everything to be not nice and clean and tidy so i'm going to place it on there for the moment and i'm going to get my spatula and it's like icing a cake so on the back of the spatula not not the top on the back because you're going to be spreading it and i'm going to do some over again so this is this is now providing another layer of texture and you can hear this uh this icy snow paste is quite gritty which is lovely because it gives an, a, an additional texture to what you're doing Ooh. now i'm quite bad with um i say bad i'm very lazy and i very rarely um stick stencils down i'm quite, quite happy if they slip give it get a slightly different um effect if they slip off if you don't if you miss bits okay so i'm going to lift that we've now got some bits now what before i move on what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run my finger down there and across the top here okay, and along the side here and that gets rid of those additional bits okay now in reality what you'd really want to do is to allow that to dry um but i am going to be a little bit naughty and we're just going to see if we can get uh, do it without and i'm going to pick up back up that paste so none of that is wasted and we're going to do a bit down here Like that, Pull that bit off, and we'll do ooh, a little bit there, a little bit of paste, and we're going to do a bit down here. So, whoa, there we go. Just so about I'm a little bit naughty with this, and it this then adds on the top layer. It's gone a little bit over the rice paper, which is fine, and um, because it then brings everything in together. So just let me move that to one side and wipe up the mess and then we can have a look at what we've done. There we go. So here we have, have our, our lovely, we all have magic in our stencil. And it, all it is is about building up those layers, using the little bits of the um, the rice paper, um, Literally, all we used off of that was the the angel, the little sentiment, and the snowflakes. There is still so much more left on there um, that you could uh, could get creative with. Um, but that's just one way of using that rice paper. Thank you. Mm -hmm.